everybody, I'm Scott Baxter, your local Dallas realtor and relocations expert for Texas. I help people every day relocate to Texas and find their dream home. Now strap in, because we're about to dive into the heart of Texas charm, where the community spirit is as big as the state itself. Rockwall, Texas. All right, our first stop today on the Rockwall tour is gonna to be the harbor. You've probably seen it before if you've seen any Rockwall videos. It's where everybody kind of gravitates to. We're gonna go deep dive into Rockwall today. We're gonna to show you lots of different things. So stay tuned till the end. So let's check out the restaurants that we have here. I'm a local here in Rockwall. So I know Dodie's is on the end. That's gonna be Cajun food. And we have Sideways. If you want a really good Texas experience, with barbecue, live bands. The Brass Tap is drinks, that's for partying. That's like the late night partying spot, Brass Tap. Then you go over to next door to Gloria's, that's some really good Mexican food. Gloria's is amazing. It always has a line coming out. Next to Gloria's is Rodeo Goat. Rodeo Goat, one of my favorite spots for a burger. They have so many different burgers. I think they had a Carolina Reaper burger one time. It was good, it was a hot, hot burger though. Oh. All right, on the north side here, new restaurants are coming in. We have Yuzu, which is a Japanese restaurant. They also have sushi there, really good. And we have 360 Bar, and we have the Sear Steakhouse. So a bunch of different new restaurants you can try. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight restaurants here. And then there's ice cream. There's gonna be a cigar bar. So, and then you have valet parking if you have a really nice car. You can have a valet parked for the night. Or you can just find parking in any of the parking lots and just walk over it. It doesn't take that long. Then we have probably the best, best movie theater around. And they have XD theaters, they have just a bunch of stuff that you can see, like 10 different movie theaters. All right, now we're in downtown Rockwall. Downtown Rockwall is really quaint. I love this area. This is a book club cafe. You get your coffees, you get your breakfast here. Oh, here's some fresh exhaust going on. That's another thing, if you're living in Rockwall, a lot of people straight pipe their cars around here. So you're always gonna hear some throaty V8s going on. And lots of trucks, by the way. But when you have to get that truck licensed, come to the county courthouse here. This is uh, perfect for everything all your city needs. And just go downstairs and you'll be able to get all your new tags. This is actually part of the rock wall that they named Rock Wall after. These Texans dug up a well and they hit a rock wall. Well, gents, I reckon we're gonna have a good time tonight. You keep digging, and you hide the body. All right, downtown is beautiful, and it has such quaint little places you can go to. We have like a ramen head here, which is a Japanese restaurant. And down here, we're gonna have Hunan restaurant, which is a Chinese restaurant. Have a couple shops with just clothing. But then there's like this really cool spot that's kind of just unassuming. This is actually a speakeasy. It's a new restaurant here. And now this is a new restaurant in Rockwall and their motto is find us if you can. The map says it's right here, but I, it might be in a back alleyway. I'm really intrigued about this. This is a like a jazz type of club here with really good food and a really good setting with like little live music. And you, they want you to dress as speakeasy back in the day talk about a date night i mean if you're with your wife and you guys are dressing up back in the speakeasy days and you're going out to some really good food and a nice atmosphere why not i will get to the bottom of this look for a future video i'm going to find out all about this place all right when you're coming downtown some downtowns you're a little sketched out you know but Rockwall downtown is awesome. It's really super safe, super family friendly. Everybody always comes down here just for a nice quiet time because it doesn't really get that busy. 
One of our favorite spots, though, is Charlie's Burgers and Street Tacos. Awesome burgers, awesome street tacos. All right, one of Rockwall's best, Zanatas. This is a gem of Rockwall. They have Italian Mediterranean-infused dishes with wood-burning ovens. It's the place to be in Rockwall downtown. Another hot spot is the Downing Bottles and Bites. So you go in and just wine taste, have your bottle of wine, have some appetizers. Super small, super simple, awesome place. All right, Fable and Fire is like coffees, books, lunch, really popular place. This place is always packed. So just walking downtown, you just have a lot of cool little shops everywhere. Those are pretty much the restaurants. Uh, we do have some Mexican restaurants over here. There's two over here, and those are both pretty good. Walking down, it is Sunday, so everybody's kind of closed right now. So it's pretty mellow down here. It does get a little hopping on Saturdays and Friday nights, though. Really good spot is Community Barbecue and Grill. They do oak smoked wood, and they just have a really nice atmosphere. And they've been open for about a year now, and a lot of people like to go there. We got nice little boutique shops going on here, and one called Curiosity Antiques and Collectibles, and actually our neighbor owns that. Boom. There's Casa Mama and then Trevino's, both Mexican restaurants. And if you want to get your hair cut in downtown Rockwall, we have a barber shop right there, Rockwall Barber Company. And we have Bin 303, there's a restaurant right there. That's still on the north side, a little bit, just a 200 foot walk from downtown. And then Ashmore and Ashmore, hey, if you need, you need lawyers, those guys are my neighbors too. My neighbors own all of downtown apparently. So this is where it all happens on Saturdays during the summertime and spring is gonna be the Rockwall Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market is probably one of the better ones in Dallas and there's so much commerce around here. So every, anybody that lives in North Rockwall in all these new build houses and because Rockwall is expanding north, anybody that lives up there, this is the first part that they hit. So you can get everything done here. And literally it might be like four by four blocks it's really small, really quaint, really safe. This is also where we have our Christmas celebration and we have lots of different kids celebrations and lots of things to do. I even saw sledding down here, down a sled slide. There wasn't even any snow, but they brought in snow somehow. I don't know, maybe they shipped it in from Colorado. I have no idea. Well, boys, you did a fine job digging that whale back in the day and discovering the rock wall. Now it's time for Cookie to get dinner on and let's go have some chow. Let's take a little lesson in Rockwall, Texas history. All right, today we're at the Rockwall Historical Society to learn a little bit more about Rockwall. This is an original house still intact from the Civil War, now serves as the Rockwall Historical Society. All these uniforms from past high schools and the kitchen was left untouched from its original days. Harry Myers Park, which is right next door, offers walking trails, playgrounds, sports facilities like baseball, softball, soccer, and tennis, a disc golf course, and a public swimming pool. Everything's free besides the pool, which is like a minimal fee under five bucks. Last I heard it was two bucks. It's a great spot for a day with the family in the sun. The Republic of Texas was incorporated into the United States and admitted to the Union as of the 28th state on December 29th, 1845. The Rockwall region in Texas has a rich history dating back to at least 13,500 years ago. Artifacts from Paleo-Indian cultures and extinct ancient animals that lived during the Ice Age have been found in the area, showing that Native American cultures, including the Caddo and Creek Indians, lived here long before the European settlers arrived. In 1851, settlers came into the Rockwall area. 1852, the discovery of a Rockwall formation by Benjamin Boydston, Terry Utley Wade, and William Clay Stevenson was found and it looked remarkably like a man-made wall. This sparked lots of interest. Was it alien-made? Was it man-made? Was it another civilization that left us? What was this wall? So keeping with the theme of it all, they named the town Rockwall. Now, speaking of UFOs and the rock wall, real close to rock wall, you can come visit a real UFO. Now, the, how the story goes is in 1875, a local farmer named Jebediah Flag Julitz, he was on a walk with his horse and he saw a big, bright, shiny thing in the sky and it wrecked and he came and then the government and all these people in Black coats came and took all of the electronics out. And what you're seeing right here is just the remnants of the actual UFO. So 
That's a true story. On with the countdown. You know, every town needs a microbrewery. Siren Rock Brewery, cool spot, has a nice outdoor area. It is right next to downtown. All right, one of the staples of Rockwall has two locations, Rockwall and Heath, is the Bagel Lady. Now, the Bagel Lady is pretty famous in Rockwall, so if you have a business that you want to bring to Rockwall, come and bring it. There's lots of small businesses here. Everybody supports small businesses. And we just found out that Revy's here, the, the Bagel Lady herself. Let's go. Hi, Revy. Scott. Hi, Hi Scott. How nice are you? Nice to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about your business here? Yes, how hi. I started the business going on four years ago out of my home, and then we opened up the brick and mortar our first year in. We expanded our coffee shop here. Third year, we actually opened our Heath location, which is located at 207 Lawrence Drive in Heath. This year, we're incorporating a uh, comedy house here hopefully to open March 22nd. Now the Comedy House is, uh, is an honor and a tribute to our daughter who passed away in May and we're trying to bring her comedy and her food inspired foods here to the Comedy House. So come on by, we're open every day. The first comedy club that Brockwall has had? Yes, it gets our adults out, not just for dinner, but some entertainment. We will be the only comedy clubs. Look it up, Jack's Comedy House. You are an A-lister, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, the bagel lady. Woo, bagel lady. Uh, the way you know I'm Italian is that my hairline starts at my eyebrow. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed my set, you can find me on Instagram at FunnyGirlJack. Good night. <laughs> Okay, right now I'm at Lake Point Church. Hey, if you move to Texas, you got to get a church. That's just the rules. So this is a, some people might want to call it a mega church. It just holds a lot of people. This has uh, Josh Howerton as our lead pastor. Did somebody sent me the screenshot. Uh, they commented, they watched our worship, they watched the preaching, they watched you know, people in the room, and they commented, what kind of church is this? And some dude named Jerry, I don't know who Jerry was. Some dude named Jerry said, I think it's presbapticostal. That's what he said. Which means that we are predestined to speak in tongues at a potluck dinner. That's what that means. And also has Mike Bro, really good pastor. What's up, Lake Point family? Great to see you guys. Uh, my name is Mike Bro. in case we've never uh, met before. And I have the honor and privilege of partnering with uh, Pastor Josh and the team here. Lots and lots of people roll through Lake Point. It feels like the whole town is here sometimes. And I gotta say, on Christmas, there was 42,000 people that came through. And there's only like 50,000 people in the town. So that shows you how many people are just trying to better themselves, you know, keep the family values up. And that's what makes Rockwall Rockwall. You know, you get into these communities where everybody's on the same page and just nice. And that's small town Texas feel. It makes you feel safe and it makes you feel like you're around the right people. So Lake Point Church is a gathering place for not only Rockwall, but also Heath, which is south of here, Lebon, which is north of here, Fate and Roy City. Everybody comes over this way to go to this church. Now Rockwall is the main hub of Lake Point Church, but there are six campuses in DFW. So this is the main hospital in Rockwall. It's gonna be on the southern part of Rockwall, which is about 10, 15 minutes max drive anywhere in Rockwall pretty much. So if you're on the south part of Rockwall, you'll be here in less than five minutes. If you need to be next to a hospital, uh, go, go to south part of Rockwall. And we're gonna get into those neighborhoods as well on this video. But this is a giant hospital and all around, no matter what you see, 
you're going to have just medical buildings, medical buildings everywhere within this four block radius. It's going to be all medical buildings like dentists, all the dentists you can ever choose from in your life, eye doctors, radiology, whatever you need, it's here and you don't have to go anywhere outside of Rockwall really and it's here. So that's the medical part of Rockwall. That's really nice. It's really close by. It's a solid system here and that's it. Now, if you're moving to Texas, you got to know that football is life. Friday Night Lights is a real thing here. This is our giant football stadium. Both high schools play at this. Now, if you look right behind it, that's our brand new library. And then behind that is our courthouse. So we have everything in Rockwall here that you need in any city. Niche.com rated Rockwall ISD an A grade. One of the best grades you can get. Rockwall is one of the number nine out of 964 best school districts for athletes in Texas. In 2024, Rockwall ISD was voted number 32 best school district out of 1,052 other schools in Texas. And the best places to teach in Texas, 196 out of 1,084 schools in Texas. This is why people want to be in Rockwall ISD. Small town Texas, awesome schools. Rockwall ISD also has an average SAT of 1190 and an average ACT score of 26. If you live in the north suburbs of Rockwall, you'll most likely go to Rockwall High School. This is the Yellow Jackets and this is it right here, right next to the lake. Rockwall High School has a 98% graduation rate and also an amazing sports program. One thing they are doing, they're building two ninth grade centers because Rockwall is growing so much. And so as of 2025 school year, there will be no ninth graders in high school. If you live on the south side of Rockwall, you will most likely go to Rockwall Heath High School, which is still in Rockwall ISD. It's still just as good as the Rockwall Yellow Jackets. Don't tell them that in football, but <laughs> you get the picture. All the other elementary schools and middle schools are top notch. You don't have to worry about getting a bad school. Now I'm sitting at the spot where HEB is going to be in Rockwall. It's pretty exciting. HEB is like one of the number one grocery outlets in America and it's Texas based. So I'm going to get some footage for you up above. There's really no place to park. I'm sitting on the side of the road here on a 50 degree day, but it's, it's coming. It's coming. So really exciting news for Rockwall. Okay. I wanted to show you the borders of Rockwall and why everybody comes to Rockwall. So just so you know, the lay of the land and what's going on in our tour today, I'm going to take you all around and show you Rockwall. But as you see, a lot of Rockwall borders the lake right here. And it downtown has a bridge, Rusk Street, and that's the 66. And that'll take you right over to George Bush Freeway, which is a toll road, which makes commutes really easy and really nice. Uh, secondary, if you're in the northern suburbs, you can just head down this, John King Boulevard, and that'll take you right into the 30. Then you could take the 30 over and then hop on, hop on George Bush Freeway or take the 30 straight into Dallas and morning commute 45 minutes most likely even if you have to go up here up to uh, Plano you know 45 minutes otherwise it's about 35 minutes and that's the same as you would have you know coming from McKinney it, McKinney would even be longer to be honest <clears throat> all right so we're gonna be visiting some northern rock wall neighborhoods up here you know we're gonna have breezy hill we're gonna have stone creek we're gonna have saddle star estates we're gonna have quail hollow these are all up in this area and they're all pretty much connected to john king boulevard so that's the main road that'll just take you down to to wherever you want to go the main highway it'll take you to the 30 and northern suburbs also have a tom thumb up here so you have your own grocery store tom thumbs are really nice so no, no complaints there. There's going to be 
man, probably about 15 churches in Rockwall if you're looking for a church. Um, I will highlight one church today, but there's plenty of others, smaller ones. Uh, pick of the litter there. Lots of land still to be developed here, as you can see. We have lots of open land here and here. Now, they are doing two ninth grade centers for the schools. One's going to be in North Rockwall up here, and one's going to be down south, down here. And we also have a Gene Burton College. I haven't gone into this, but Gene Burton College is like a STEM school. And like you can, if your kid's into engineering or different programs, they have a STEM school that they actually bus your kids to Gene Burton Technical College. And it's, it's amazing. They can get college credits. They can, it's a lot more education that you would ever think. And they have a barbecue team. So that's pretty cool too. High school barbecue team through the Gene Burton College. <clears throat> As you know, we have a Costco, or maybe you didn't know, we have a Costco here in Rockwall. And we have an In-N-Out Burger right next to the Costco. Now there's a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of commercial, all over this 30, all the way to the bridge. It's just commercial, commercial, commercial. Every single thing that you could think that you need or want you don't have to go over the bridge to Dallas or wherever you're, you know, going. You can just stay in Rockwall, drive around your little three-mile radius, and have everything that you all need ever. So sometimes, you know, if a shoe's sold out or something, you might have to go over the bridge into Dallas. But otherwise, we pretty much have it all here in Rockwall. Another neighborhood we're going to be visiting today besides the Northern Rockwall newer neighborhoods is the Shores. And this is a PGA golf course on here and a bunch of houses. This is in an older neighborhood, but still really nice. And then we'll be coming down south, right on the border here. This is Buffalo Creek Golf Course. It's officially in Heath, but it does just seems to leak just into rock wall just a little bit. So that's why I included it in this video. And then over here, we're gonna be hitting Chandler's Landing, which has its own marina. And this is Lakeside, it's a gated community and real nice place to raise your family. As you can see, there's lots and lots of open land. Newer developments are gonna be coming in here. I'm gonna be telling you about those real soon here. And if you see all the way over here, lots of land. These farmers will eventually sell and they'll all become houses. But you see these houses right here? These are gonna be on acre lots. These are like the large lots. Yeah, and that about does it for our rock wall tour on the map. That's about all I can show you for now. Let's get on with the video. One question I get asked a lot by a lot of clients is, what is the commute gonna be like from rock wall into DFW? Here's what a map looks like on about 8 p.m. on a Thursday. It's gonna be 32 minutes. In the morning, add about 10 or 15 minutes to that. If you do McKinney to downtown Dallas, it's gonna be 37 minutes. Add about 10, 15 minutes onto that. So it's actually about five minutes shorter from Rockwall. The I-30 has got a bad reputation. So they are working on it. They are putting two new bridges on this waterway going across. They're almost done with one and they're gonna starting on the other one. That's gonna alleviate a lot of traffic going into Dallas. So that's gonna be done in about a year, about 2025. It will literally double the roads that we have right now, which is going to be a game changer. And that's when this is gonna really explode over here in Rockwall and Fate. So just as if you buy in a new neighborhood before things are finished, you always get equity. And that's exactly what's gonna happen here as well. Buy a house over this way before this road gets finished and you will have equity. All right, here's some Rockwall neighborhoods I think that you should consider. Newer neighborhoods, I want you to look at Breezy Hill, Saddle Star Estates, Quail Hollow, and Stone Creek. These are all in North Rockwall and they're all right next to each other, so they'll be easy to find. All right, I'm in Breezy Hill today. If you see behind me, there's a lot of country behind me. This is what surrounds Breezy Hill, which is nice. But Breezy Hill itself is just ridiculous housing. 
there's Grand Homes, there's Windsor Homes, and there's also Megatel Homes. Pretty much almost all sold out, but there are some spec homes and uh, you can build with Grand Homes. They have a few lots left, I think like three. So it's gonna be real, real tight. But this is an amazing community. The houses are so nice and so big. And the tax rate is right around 1.6. It's just amazing. So let's go check out Breezy Hill right now. Now the Breezy Hill neighborhood has been very popular to build. As of March 1st, 2024, there's only three lots left. So if you'd like to build something like this, which this is the Grand Whitehall, I have a video on the tour of the Grand Whitehall. Let me represent you. We could start your build with that cheap tax rate. We can get into Breezy Hill in the last three lots and you can be right in the center of all the action. Right, I'm in Stone Creek on the sidewalks here and uh, Stone Creek is all built out so you're only gonna find used houses here but there's some really nice used houses here a uh, really good example is right behind me this one's for sale it's about 795,000 and this has a pool it also has a hot tub and it's almost 3,900 square feet Our next stop for our neighborhoods in Texas, we have Saddle Star Estates. And right now we're at Highland Homes. This is a four bedroom, four bath, 3208 square feet, 13 foot ceilings, and it's gonna be a one story home. Now, I wanna tell you something about Rockwall up here. So if you're thinking about high taxes, high property taxes in Texas, and you're worried about high property taxes, this is the spot you wanna be in. This has no PID, no mud, and those are just added additions that you'll find in North Texas, Dallas, Texas suburbs, in Fate, Texas. You're gonna find these pids and muds attached, which is gonna make everything a lot higher. Welcome to Saddle Star Estates, a master plan community that epitomizes the best of Texas living. Located in Rockwall, Texas, recently named Money Magazine's fourth best place to live in the US, Saddle Star Estates offers a blend of luxury and comfort that's hard to beat. And as an added bonus, Highland Homes will all come standard with three car garages in this neighborhood. As we venture into phase two of this development, you'll discover that opportunities to secure your dream home 
are becoming more exclusive with limited lots available. Last I checked, there are 16 left for Highland Homes. Saddle Star Estates is not just about the homes, it's about the lifestyle. Residents enjoy a wealth of amenities, including a clubhouse, resort style pool, community gardens, and nature trails. And for those of you who love the outdoors, Lake Ray Hubbard is just moments away, offering endless recreation and relaxation. There are 22 plans that you can build with Highland Homes in Saddle Star Estates on the 70 foot wide lots. Those are going to be about 120 to 125 foot deep. Those start at $697,990 for a 2659 square foot home. Quail Hollow, this is the new neighborhood and Highland Homes is going to be building here. Uh, there's not much going on right now, it's just dirt and roads, but next houses are going to be built there are going to be in December. So you got about six, eight months pre-sell prices right now. Once again, uh, Quail Hollow is going to be no PID, no mud, and it's going to be 1.62, 1.63 tax rate. And so actually with that tax rate, you're going to find that your, your house is not going to cost very much per year. And so if you're looking for low property taxes, Quail Hollow is definitely one of the spots you're going to want to be in. And it's in Northern Rockwall, which is pristine neighborhoods. a good view of it all. Quail Hollow is going to have many homes available there and you're going to be able to move into these homes at the beginning of December 2024. So they're doing pre-sale pricing right now, very cheap, and you can build up to 30 different Highland home designs you get to choose from from building in these neighborhoods. 20 of those 30 homes that you can build are going to be on the 62 foot wide lots that are going to be available in Quail Hollow. Those start at $599,990 for a 2263 square foot home. Now this is pre-sale pricing. This will go up. Just remember that. Now Quail Hollow will also have 72 foot wide lots and you can build up to six different plans on the 72 foot wide lots. 72 foot wide lots will start at 663, 990 for a 2583 square foot home. And there's also 82 foot wide lots. Now these are gonna be 125 deep, pretty average. And you're gonna have up to 10 plans for the 82 foot wide lots. And these are going to come standard with a lot of goodies. And those start at 716990 for a 2963 square foot home. Now I'd like to show you the older neighborhoods in Rockwall, the Shores, Buffalo Creek, and then Chandler's Landing. All right, we reached the Shores. Now the Shores is going to be in Rockwall right on the lake, as you can see. They have an 18 hole PGA golf course. Now it's gonna cost 10 grand to get into this golf club, but just for just 800 a year, you're gonna be able to get in and get all the amenities of the clubhouse, the restaurant, there's a downstairs bar, there's a gym, there's indoor tennis courts there, there's the pool, there's outdoor tennis courts, they're building pickleball courts you can see right behind me that's going to be all pickleball courts so there's a lot of social aspects going on with this side of everything and it's, it's a good place to be in 1280 different homes you can find a lot of older homes in this one but there's going to be a pick of the litter so this would be an excellent excellent neighborhood to live in and i highly suggest this one in the Shores. Shores is going to be an older neighborhood. A lot of these homes were built in the late 90s. Uh, this one's a 2005 behind me. 
and it's about 4,500 square feet, five bedroom, four bath, real tall ceilings, media room, lots of space. It's gonna be rear entry, kind of going to alleyway, to uh, safe alleyway, to get to your three car garage. So this is gonna have plenty of space and it's listed at $650,000. Buffalo Creek Golf Club has been recognized as one of the best public golf courses in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. It also holds a prestigious spot at number 73 on the U.S. Top 100 Public Courses list. Open to the public, Buffalo Creek offers affordable rates ranging from $44 to $79, depending on your age and the day and time you book. The club provides lessons with PGA instructors, house leagues, and organizes numerous tournaments. It's the perfect place to spend a morning or afternoon golfing right next to your home. Buffalo Creek is a been developed a long time ago. This house was built in 1999, and it's five bedroom, three bath. And this one's going to have a pool in the back and lots of space. And this one sits at just below $750,000. So this is what you're going to get in Buffalo Creek. You're going to get a nice, nice neighborhood, super safe. All the neighborhoods I'm showing you right now are super safe. You really can't go wrong with any of them. So my last neighborhood I want to show you guys is Chandler's Landing. That's in South Rockwall. It's right on the border of Heath. And this has Chandler's Landing Marina attached to it. Now, these are two separate entities, the neighborhood and the marina but you can literally drive your golf cart down to your boat slip and head out in Lake Ray Hubbard, which is one of the best lakes in DFW to do family water skiing, surfboarding, whatever you're doing. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the deepest lakes and one of the less crowded lakes actually. So if you wanna feel like you're in a very safe environment in 24 hour security, you're gonna be right on the water. You can drive your golf cart all around. Chandler's Landing is really interesting. I, th I think it's a little underrated for what you get. You have a yacht club. Right now they're going through a transition. I think they're putting another restaurant in there. I'm gonna show you uh, one of the houses here and I'll show you what the community is all about. And it's a good one. You should look at this one. Let's check out this house. This house is gonna overlook the ponds, which is really nice. And it's about $665,000. And four bedroom, four baths. And real cute, real cute farm style house. And you'll see that this is just more trees everywhere. A lot of grown trees been growing since. This neighborhood's 50 years old, but a lot of these houses weren't built until the 2000s. Jenna's Landing is a community of 980 homes nestled on the shores of Lake Ray Hubbard. This neighborhood is an ideal place to raise a family, offering two pools, tennis courts, a yacht club, a sandy beach on the lake, fishing ponds, walking trails, playgrounds, and a sunset viewing area. The hilly terrain provides stunning views of Lake Ray Hubbard, enhancing the natural beauty of the area. The friendly and active community ensures that neighbors greet each other with a wave at every opportunity. With 24-7 security and gated surroundings, Chandler's Landing provides a safe and secure environment. Additionally, neighborhood concerts, 4th of July fireworks, and even kids' campouts add to the rich community experience, making it a lively and engaging place to live. 
Its proximity to the Harbor District, hospital, grocery stores, and all that Rockwall has to offer within a three-mile radius makes Chandler's Landing a convenient and desirable place to live. Everybody, thank you for joining me for this Rockwall vlog tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found any value in this, please like and subscribe. If you think I missed something, uh, comment down below in the comments. And I would love to help you move to Rockwall. If you are in Rockwall, I'd love to help you list your house for all the people that are ready to move to Rockwall. So get a hold of me, all my information's below, and we'll see you in the next video.